Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to MPWF War Episode 11. My name is DJ Johnny Feelgood, and we are live from Davenport, Iowa. And ladies and gentlemen, we started this show off with a huge beginning. Sean Stevens and Helios Christ battle backstage. You can see that there is huge, huge animosity between those two as to what happened last week with Sean Stevens losing the U.S. Championship. But the MPWF chairman made two matches, and these are the matches he made for later tonight. Helios Christ will go one-on-one -on -one with a challenger for the World's Heavyweight Championship, Ricky Cash, here tonight on War. Plus, Sean Stevens will face a longtime rival in Brian Adams, the World's Heavyweight Champion. And I cannot wait to see that match later tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a huge show here on War Episode 11, as we are just six days away from MPWF Starcade, ladies and gentlemen. But right now, it's time to head to ringside because we're going to have ourselves a six-man tag team match. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Gothic Society and Tommy Douglas will team up against Tendencies and the Super Sparks Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's head to ringside. I mean, what a way to kick off the show. Again, we apologize for not getting any audio out there. But, I mean, the show was not ready to come on the air. And we quickly were able to get some cameras back then to just show the footage. You saw Stevens and Helios Christ going at it. I mean, both those men will be competing at Starcade in the Triple Threat Money in the Bank Opportunity match. And of course, Helios Christ cost Sean Stevens the United States Championship against Tendencies last week. But as the show progresses, we will get more on that topic. But right now, it's time for the six-man tag action to kick off the show here tonight in Davenport, Iowa. And see, the Gothic Society have been in a bit of trouble as of late. They haven't been able to get any momentum over the Super Sparks Brothers. And at Starcade this Sunday, they will be defending their tag team championships against the Super Sparks Brothers. And the Super Sparks Brothers have a tag team victory over the Gothic Society, as well as singles and beatdown victories as well. See, Shift and Dagger finally won the championships here on YouTube when they defeated, sorry, um, SBM at MPWF TLC. And they don't want to lose those championship belts so fast. So they're going to do whatever it takes to win. And they're looking to pick up all the momentum they can here tonight before they head towards MPWF Starcade this Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, again, this is going to be a great night, a great show here on the MPWF War, and we're happy to welcome all the fans, all the new ones, all the old ones who are watching his, this episode here tonight. And here comes their partner tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Canada's own Tommy Douglas. So he born out the Kamloops of Canada, moved to Toronto, Ontario, Canada to train and become a professional wrestler. Tommy Douglas had a hell of a contest against former world champion Helios Christ last week in Tokyo, Japan. Well, Tommy Douglas is still rebounding after his loss against Sean Stevens for the U.S. Championship a couple weeks back. But again, Tommy Douglas seems to get more and more fans as each week passes by here in MPWF War. I mean, Tommy Douglas now has to take that positive energy he's getting from the crowd and really turn it into a driving force to help him get back on top and get back a championship gold again here in the MPWF. And no better way to start than by winning this six-man tag match before Starcade. Tommy Douglas is not on the show, but he says don't worry about it. Because soon I'm going to be a champion once again here in MPWF 4. So you can't really argue with that. Let's see what Tommy Douglas can bring to the table here tonight in this tag team match. And here come two men who are very proud of themselves. And in a sense, you really can't see, I mean, you really can't disagree with why they're so proud of themselves. They've picked up victories over the Gothic Society. They've been uber impressive since forming a tag team. The, the brotherhood here, the two brothers, Ryan and Tony Sparks, the Super Sparks brothers, comprised of the second youngest superstar in the MPWF, and a longtime great athlete in the future Tony Sparks. I mean, it, it seems that it's only a possible matter of time before these two become the MPWF tag team champions here on war. I mean, again, you really can't argue with their success. I mean, we're going to see tonight if they can continue with that success in this six-man tag match. But so they have all the momentum right now rolling into MPWF Starcade. And trust me, they are hungry for the gold and they're looking to become championship contenders no matter what this crowd here in Davenport, Iowa or what the MPWF fan base thinks of them. And this man right here seems to be the happiest man in the MPWF right now. Something that he hasn't been in a while. Tendencies, Mr. Money in the Bank and the brand new United States Champion as of last week. And it's quite a funny situation. Tennessee's was the instigator of the, the problems between Sean Stevens and Helios Christ. Somebody attacked Tennessee's at TLC and prevented him from cashing in his money in the bank. Tennessee took out his frustrations on Sean Stevens and Helios Christ. And then they were added to the triple threat match. So the winner would get a shot at the money in the bank that you see around the waist of Tennessee. 
And in doing so, Sean Stevens and Helios Christ have developed a rivalry between themselves. And it's allowed Tennessee to really pick up victories over both of them. Tennessee has the most momentum rolling into MPWF Starcade. I mean, for the first time ever, it looks like this man who should be at a disadvantage has the advantage rolling into Starcade. I mean, the champion has the advantage. I mean, that's something that we don't usually say here in wrestling, but that seems to be the way it is for Tennessee. I mean, he's money in the bank and the United States champion. So he couldn't be in a happier mood right now. And he's going to look to continue that happy streak here on MPWF 4 episode 11. And here we go. This should be a great match to kick off this evening. Six-man tag. And now Dagger and Tony Sparks both engaging in the college railboat tie-up. Nice go behind there by Dagger. Dagger now going for a back suplex as he connects on Tony Sparks. And again, tonight for six days before MPWF Starcade. Make sure that you watch Starcade. If you haven't subscribed to the MPWF, make sure you do that. It will help us out a lot and it will get this core show a lot bigger. I mean... All six men on each side are trying to impress the general manager, the MPWF chairman. So Tommy Douglas, the only one in this matchup tonight who will not be at a, in a match at MPWF Starcade. But I mean, if he can win, if he can pick up a victory, this will be able to give him maybe a shot at the United States Championship next week on War or something. Maybe later down the road he'll get a shot at the World's Heavyweight Championship. See, every, every win counts here in the MPWF. And that's what Tommy Douglas understands. And I mean, Tommy Douglas, who used to be a part of the Annihilation brand, wasn't happy with the way Tiffany ran things. It's de said he's definitely enjoying himself here on MPWF War. Now look at this old Tommy Douglas missing the stomp there. And now Tony Sparks float over DDT, connects there with Douglas. And now Sparks. Going to throw Tommy Douglas to the turnbuckle. The Tommy Douglas, ladies and gentlemen, former internet champion. You got here's the double team, it looks like. Springboard drop kick, nice move there by the Super Sparks brothers. I was going to say, Tony Sparks hasn't won a singles championship yet. The championship goal that he has won is tag team championships, multi time tag team champion is Tony Sparks. Here's his brother Ryan, who's in his first year here in the MPWF, has yet to win championship gold and looks to win his first title at MPWF Starcade. And I mean, again, later tonight, don't forget we have Ricky Cash, who will be going one-on-one -on -one with Helios Christ. That's going to be a hell of a match. That's actually a first time, I think, here on MPWF War. I mean, we've got Sean Stevens and Brian Adams who will be going at it. Here's a double team by Dagger and Douglas. Nice move by both those men. I mean, Sean Stevens and Brian Adams have been at each other's throats. They had a huge rivalry last summer, which resulted in an injury to Sean Stevens. And that rivalry looks like it will be renewed later tonight and now here's a hurricane runner there by shift shift taking down oh no nice taking down Tennessee's as well so it was gonna say he took down Ryan Sparks takes down Tony Sparks shift now clearing house here at MPWF wall chop block there by Ryan Sparks shift took his eyes off Sparks and Sparks learning from his brother was able to take the advantage and now oh Ryan Sparks hanging shift up in the ropes see the Super Sparks brothers could care less about the fans the fans used to cheer them and then the fans decided they were going to cheer the California Dragons instead of these guys. The California Dragons, if you don't, do not know, are another tag team here in the MPWF on the war brand. They will be competing on MPWF Superstars. So make sure you tune in to Superstars, which is every Wednesday here in the MPWF. Great action from both War and Annihilation. The only jo joint show of the week. And now Tennessee's again the United States champion. Former internet champion as well. Nice back body drop there by Tennessee's. Before the YouTube era, he won the World Championship and actually main evented WrestleMania. Some people say that Tennessee's momentum has slowed down since coming to YouTube, but i got to disagree with that. Tennessee's right now is Mr. Money in the Bank and United States Champion. How much more momentum do you need? And now Tennessee's going for a cover here on Shift. That could be it. One, two. Oh, break up. Dagger breaking up the count to save Shift here in this six-man tag match. And now, oh, Sparks going to throw shift back into the turnbuckle. Sorry, no, Tennessee's did. Look at this side, Tennessee's. Great double team here. Nice move by Sparks and Tennessee's. And, oh, nice atomic drop there by Tony Sparks. Now going to send shift into the ropes. A nice forearm or maybe a fist. Not quite sure. Either way, it was effective and not shift down. And again, oh, there's a chop block there by Tony Sparks. He's now working at the leg. And now Tony Sparks, oh, nice well-placed elbow, well-timed, well-placed, and now you can see Tony Sparks proud of his actions. And uh, I'm not sure what Sparks has on his mind. She probably should have tried to finish off shift there, but arrogance goes a long way. And now, oh, throwing shift face first into the two feet of Ryan as Ryan now makes his way into the ring. And Ryan Sparks now has shift up, going for a big power slam. Then you see the way he trapped the arm. 
Now, see, this is interesting game plan here by the Super Sparks Brothers, working at different body parts on Shift. Trying to prevent him from doing anything at all. Shift now breaking away, missing the forearm smash there. And, oh, runs right to a Luthes press there by Ryan Sparks as he knocks down Shift. And now oh, Ryan taking a cheap shot at Tommy Douglas. Not sure how smart that is. There's been a few decisions as of late that Ryan Sparks has, has made that hasn't been that smart. And Shift now making a attack to Dagger. Dagger now entering this match. Knocks down Ryan Sparks. Thank you very much. Takes out tendencies. Dagger now, ladies and gentlemen. Setting up. Kick to the gut. Twist of fate. This could be it. Ryan Sparks taking down to the mat. Dagger needs to now go for the cover. Has he got the victory here in this six-man tag match? One, two, and oh, Tennessee's breaks up the count. Dagger almost had it there. Ryan Sparks got a lucky break. Ryan Sparks able to distract Dagger and get the loot there's press. Trying to bring the momentum back to the Super Sparks Brothers. And ladies and gentlemen, if Dagger can hit that twist of fate at Starcade, well, I mean the Gothic Society will still remain the tag team champions. And oh, Ryan Sparks ran right into a knife hand chop there by Dagger. Now Dagger throwing Ryan Sparks into a turnbuckle. Dagger could be in the wrong area as he's against his... Oh, wow, what a move there by Dagger knocking off. Tony Sparks right into the barricade. I was going to say, not a smart area to be in. Oh, wait, tendencies with a cheap shot to the back of the head. Oh, Dagger turning around and knocking him down for his troubles. Tony Sparks is still out on his feet. Oh, never mind, there's Tony Sparks right now. Jeez, that was a big kick there by Dagger knocking Tony Sparks off the apron. And now Ryan going to send Dagger to the ropes here. Now going around on a waist lock. Tony Sparks pumping up his brother. Nice move. Here's a nip up by Ryan Sparks. Now Ryan Sparks got a dagger and then throw him into the turnbuckle. Tags back in his brother. Oh, we could be seeing a double team here. Oh, big time shoulder block off the turnbuckle there by Tony Sparks. And knocks down Shift now. And you can see these keep constant jabs by both sides to each man in this match. So much pride riding on this match. But ladies and gentlemen, we're heading for a break. When we return, MPWF War will continue.